So um, I'm happy to do another video because I'm slightly confused and I'm wondering if anyone can help me out with this. I'm starting to wonder exactly what the SIA regulations actually mean, what they entail and what the, how they're regulated. Because if you're a professional person and you're trained and qualified to be a security or a close protection officer, then you should be able to detach your own personal feelings and emotions to the job that you're doing. Now, I can speak for myself personally and know that um, I'm a five foot one woman and I've been known to go to camera van blocks and even box pole installs on my own where maintenance are accompanied by security, one or two of them. Now, these are men and I'm guessing that these security are properly trained. Some of them are ex-British military, so therefore should obviously have control and discipline and know how to assess the situation. And I'm pretty sure that little old me, who only uses her mouth, and yes, the trolls that like to say my voice is annoying, well, my voice has changed because I have been quite unwell. I haven't managed to get my voice back properly, and I do still have a cough and my voice is still gravelly but regardless you know even if i had my full normal speaking voice somebody would make a comment about it and that's fine you know lots of people's voices are annoying but all i do is talk um i very rarely have ever been known to swear the only time i've ever sworn is when i've been insulted personally by these people or whether they have done something that is a comp an 100 percent breach of the SIA regulations, the law, or where they have tried to intimidate or assault somebody. And this has happened many times. And for the last six months, we have, many of us have been trying very, very hard to report these CPs, securities, if you want to call them that, because really it's a title way above what they deserve. But what I find very interesting is why little old me would be getting threats from security. So I know a lot of them are watching my page. So this is to you. Why do you feel so threatened by me? What is so scary about me? One woman, I've never attacked any of you. I've never assaulted any of you. But for some reason, I seem to annoy you and frustrate you so much do you think it's acceptable to send messages under a fake profile? Because that's how brave you are. You want to say that you want to take a metal strap to my neck or a pick pickaxe to my head. The latest being that basically I need to be looked after because you wouldn't want anything to happen to me. That you wouldn't want me getting hurt. Mentioning my car, Reg then sending pictures of a car up in flames. If anyone thinks this is acceptable, then shocking. If anyone in the profession as a close protection officer or security guard or any form of security or police or anyone in government who thinks that this is acceptable, then shocking, shocking. But what I find the funniest thing of all is that these men, these grown men who just have the lowest job on earth to stand there protecting whatever company, and I'm not going to name them, but whatever company happens to be doing any of these installs that unfortunately their employer has been contracted to TFL to do, have to react like this and have to behave like this. I clearly have got under their skin. That's all I'm saying. Now I'll say 99% of the maintenance people who put the cameras up, put the box installations in, put the poles in, no problem whatsoever. There is one guy, his name's John, and he works for Volker Highways and he likes to lie because as I've previously said in other videos, you get, you get people from all walks of life and you get people that are just plain wrong ones as you want to call them people who aren't quite wired right people that have a chip on their shoulder narcissistic aggression you know that's why we have serial killers that's why we have rapists 
And I, I can bet your life that a lot of these security and CP have very, very dodgy backgrounds. There's a lot that gets covered up. Maybe that's what they're scared about. Maybe they're scared because I don't act illegally. Maybe because I don't do criminal damage to their vans. Maybe that's what it is that gets to them. But if you're trying to scare me, carry on. If something happens to me, then I think we know where we're going to be pointing the blame, don't we? Because I don't actually have any enemies. All I'm doing is standing on the right side of history, like many, many other people in this direct movement, but also around the UK and globally. And some people don't like that, but some people are just so naive, so ignorant, so dumbed down that they just think that it's something personal about them, but it isn't. I couldn't care less about any of you. I couldn't care less. I pity you for the job that you're doing. Yes, okay, you've got to put money on, you know, earn money and put food in your plate. Yeah, everyone has. Everyone has. But taking it personally, grow up, for starters. Become a bit more educated. Be a le less ignorant. Be a bit more professional. And don't be sending threats to a five foot one woman who has a family and has kids and is trying to do the right thing by people peacefully and legally. Don't try starting to cause trouble. Don't start making up stories about me and about the type of person that you want to portray me to be because I see your game and I know what you're doing maybe that's what the threat is I don't know but to everyone out there just let it be known that these security are threatening me threats against my life threats to harm to me threats to blowing up my car threats of bringing a cherry jerry can round jerry can round and setting my car on fire because, yeah, they have my reg, they have my car, they know my name. Nice people, aren't they? Nice people. And guess who they work for? They work for TFL. They're TFL representatives. And who controls TFL? The Mayor of London.